Hello, so I'm going to be doing a load of videos testing this stuff. Now, I'm going to forget the actual name of it. It's UHMWPE, which I think is something like Ultra High Molecular Weight Polyethylene or something like that. The point is it's a thermoplastic, and thermoplastics are really, really strong. Um, basically, thermoplastics are being used now in quite a lot of things, including military stuff. So if you know of the American ECH helmet, or the Virtus helmet, uh, like we have it as of Britain, that's a thermoplastic helmet, and basically the point of it is that it's stronger than Kevlar for the weight and size of it, quite a lot stronger than Kevlar actually. Um, and the helmets are actually very impressive on their own right. Now obviously I'm not expecting a regular bit of thermoplastic you can buy online, like this bit, to be anywhere near as tough as those helmets, because obviously I imagine there's a lot of trade military secrets for those helmets on how exactly they make them. But the fact that you can just go on Amazon and buy a sheet of uh, this stuff now is pretty good. So um, basically, um, I'll be doing different videos, testing them with different things, uh, rather than just trying to cram loads of stuff into one video. So, I did the test already of the pistol crossbow today, so I'll show you the footage of that in a minute, and it absolutely held up fine against the pistol crossbow, surprisingly well. Basically, it got some gouges in the plastic, uh, as you can see, um, from the pistol crossbow, but that's all it did. Uh, and what I ended up doing to a pistol crossbow bolt, uh, it broke both of the ones I shot at, but as you can see, that's all that was left, really, of um, one of the bolts. So obviously, as you can see, that would have gone in there like that, um, when it hit it. Um, so basically, yeah, it penetrated as far as the actual spike bit on there, so one or two millimetres, um, and then obviously just bounced out and the bolt broke under the stress of it. So, I'll have to definitely test this with air rifles and full power crossbows. I'll also do a video testing it with things like the Warhammer and the Mace and things like that, and some knives. But I honestly don't think any blunt force um, things or knives are going to have a chance of really getting through this. It's a centimetre thi uh, thick piece, and most of the things go in like one or two millimetre at that, even with a lot of force behind them. So I think it's going to come down to things like crossbows with, um, you know, probably quite nasty tips on the bolts, travelling at very high speed to have a chance of going through this. Um, but basically the point I'm interested in this is because you can now buy, as I said, thermoplastics cheap on Amazon, or relatively cheap for the size of these bits. Um, for this example, this is a £25 piece that is, um, you know, something like, oh, what was the length of it? I think it might have been sort of 40 by 40 centimetres or something, one centimetre thick, something like that. Um, I'm very interested in just, you know, seeing how well it would hold up if you bought this to... Um, uses improvised armour in sort of a jacket or something, because it is lightweight, um, you know, compared to, again, soft Kevlar is probably a bit lighter, but obviously it's a lot bigger, you know, and I'm thinking if you had a much smaller piece than this, it could quite easily be sort of pocket sized, um, you know, and I'd be pretty confident with this, that nobody is literally going to be able to penetrate through it with a knife. So anyway, the um, rambling's on, I'll put the video on now of the actual um, bolts testing against it. But the point is, you know, we'll be doing several different videos on this plate, and I want to see, you know, can anything that people might have in the UK get through it? Because it does seem like it is a very cheap alternative and a good one to actual buying, you know, like proper armour panels for stab vests and things like that. Um, some chopping boards are made out of this material, but not all of them are, so bear that in mind if you buy a chopping board intending to use it as armour or to test it. Um, you need to make sure you buy the ones that are, you know, the same stuff as this because some of them will just be cheaper types of plastic so uh, bear that in mind. Right, so I'm going to be testing this bit of thermoplastic against the Horizon Redback which I've got here and we'll see if it can survive the crossbow bolts going into it. So this is UHMWPE, high density. Um, as you can see there, maybe that's where I've tested the Fairbind Sykes and some other knives against it and they barely did anything. So in this test we're just going to use the Redback um, and then in other videos I'll test other things, depending on how well it holds up against this. So it'll be only a few yards away. I'm going to put it here, if it'll actually fit. I'll try and get it as straight on as possible. There we go. And <clears throat> I'm going to try not to block the camera, because obviously it's a bit awkward filming here with space. But there we go. All right. Let's put the first bolt in. Right, I'm hoping I don't get any sort of dangerous ricochets because obviously I'm fairly close to it at the moment. Right, I haven't shot this 
and ages. So there it goes. Right. I don't know where the bolt went. Sounds like it might have broken, but let's see what it did to the uh, plastic. Right, plastic is absolutely fine, so that's interesting. I'll do one more bolt, but it seems like a good way of breaking bolts, so I don't want to do too many. But if you can see there, there's a bit of a gouge, but it's not gone very far in at all. Um, I think maybe one or two of the knife stabs yesterday went in a bit further. Actually, that's probably the deepest thing in there. But again, nowhere close to going through it uh, in terms of sort of how far it's gone in. It's maybe penetrated sort of one millimeter, if that. It's obviously a one centimeter thick piece. So it seems like it would stop a crossbow bolt fine. Let's just do one more test to see what happens. ricocheted and hit me it's completely destroyed the bolt and here is the uh, bit there thankfully obviously it wasn't traveling fast enough to penetrate and I've got a thick jacket on but yeah um, <laughs> that is what the um, plastic does to the actual bolts uh, as you can see yeah that's quite interesting I'll keep that so Yep, completely snap that. And again, yeah, it's just left a bit of a gouge on there, but again, nowhere close to going through. No back face deformation at all. Uh, so yeah, this would protect you from a pistol crossbow, pretty be pretty certain, even if it had a you know, probably more of a bodkin type point on, I don't think a pistol crossbow is going for it. So in further tests, I think I'm going to have to get the bigger crossbows out to test this. But so far, um, it's performing very well. 